Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome to the Epitome Communicator. Today I'm going to take this computer, download the Epitome Communicator, install it, and then I'm going to configure it and use it to make phone calls. So what I will do first is on the Epitome website, you can go to the Epitome Wiki, type in Communicator, which is our Windows soft phone, and then here it comes up, Epitome Communicator. Just go ahead and click that. There's a demo version and the full version. If you've been given the permission to use a demo version, just click on the demo version and download it. If you have a full license, uh, then you can download the full version. I'm going to go ahead and download the full version, and I'm going to actually uh, connect up to an Epitome Cloud extension. So you can see here I'm downloading it right now. didn't take very long for me to download it. Now I'm going to um, click here, hit Keep. Then I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm using uh, Windows 7 here in this particular case. And then we're going to uh, run the setup exe, which will install the communicator. It uh, should not take very long. Click install. It will download the uh, file here. And then once that's completed, I will have the Epitome communicator on the laptop. Now, the nice thing about the um, the Epitome Communicator, it requires a regular extension license on the Epitome, and it also requires that you uh, turn on the API key and, ins and turn that on in the Epitome under the Applications tab in the PBX. Once that's done, all you have to do then is go in and configure the account on the soft phone, on the Communicator, and I'll show you how to do that here. As soon as this setup is done, it's putting in uh, Microsoft Visual C++ here. If uh, you don't have that on your computer, it will install it like it's installing it here. Again, this is a from scratch install that I'm doing. I've never had it on this laptop before, so this is exactly how it should look if you're installing it on a new computer. There we go. It's verifying that it's launching the application here still I'm, I'm a little ahead of myself here um, so this popped up here at the bottom uh, at the bottom for me to click on this at the bottom of the screen there now I'm going to hit install and now it's actually installing the uh, communicator so again I, I wanted to go ahead and run this from scratch so that you can actually see what happens and it's not already preloaded on a computer so again I'm doing this doing this from scratch here so that you can actually see how it's done. Looks like we have a little over uh, five megs here to download. That doesn't take too long here on my internet connection. All right, so we want to make sure that we allow access on the firewall here so that we can get out to the internet uh, here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, now that I, this is, I have the Epitome Communicator installed on my laptop here, now I'm going to go in and configure an account. Now I have an account here that I'm going to set up here, and this is just a, um, I'm going to add an account that I saved for this particular extension. This particular extension is just a test extension that I'm going to set up here. Um, it's going to use your, your password of your voicemail, display a name and username, and then it's going to want the SIP password, so you're going to need to go into the PBX and grab that guy. Uh, I just happen to have mine on here, M4AP, lowercase, And then all caps Y G N D. Um, 
SIP server is going to be the IP address of your cloud or of your PBX, whatever you're trying to connect to. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure this for two lines. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to check the enable button and I'm going to close. And I should see two uh, accounts here register and go green and it has so now I have two uh, two lines here two uh, accounts registered to the cloud PBX now which I shall be able to make a call you can hear here I'm going to make a call to epitome And there we are. Now also over here on my user list, um, I can go in, in into the, the user list here and I can actually uh, add in the epitome refresh from PBX. So I go to manage users, epitome, refresh from PBX. Now this will pull all of my accounts, which are actually the extensions on this PBX and it's going to load it up into my user list. So these are all my BLFs that I have here. So this is all the BLFs on this test cloud extensions on this test cloud instance here. But let's just say I want to remove some people out of here. I can go over here, right click, remove user, and I can go ahead and, and uh, whittle this down to just the guys that I want to see. And uh, so I have all kinds of different test extensions on here. Uh, and uh, that's how you load those on my contact list here. This I can actually uh, import my contacts from Outlook, or if I have a CSB spreadsheet, I can import those, and this will build build a nice call list here. I can also add in contacts here um, of my favorite people to call uh, individually that I can add them in, and I can add in the number. Save. Now I've got the epitome number in here. If I want to call, I can just click on it and I will go off hook and I will make that call. Now, if I want to, I can also go in and I can set up. There's two different headsets that we are set up with USB. Of course, you can always plug in a headset into your regular jack there on the side of your computer and your microphone, and you can use that and probably most people will probably do that however if you want to go in and set up your devices here this will be your integrated headsets the two headset manufacturers that we integrate with now are Jabra and Plantronics uh, I believe it's a Jabra Pro uh, 930 I believe is the USB version um, and that will plug into your uh, USB and that will give you a wireless he headset. You would select Jabber here. I don't remember the uh, Plantronics, uh, which one that the, the model number of that, but you can easily find that. Um, so you have these different settings here. Um, audio settings, you probably, if you wanted to set up your speakers, you can set up different speakers here, or different microphones, or what have you. Um, uh, this on the audio advanced, you probably don't need to mess with that. Uh, but that's how you integrate your headset. Your active calls are here. Your call history is here. You can see it put it put in here. I dialed these two numbers here at Epitome. Um, so that's the basic configuration and setup. Now, a couple of questions that we usually get is, can you go register to more than one PBX with this guy? And the answer is yes. All of these here that you see, these eight accounts here, you can register to uh, other PBXs. So if I wanted to go in and register to another PBX, Perhaps I have a cloud system and a premise-based system or, or two different systems, and I want to actually make calls from both of them. Uh, maybe I'm a company that has a location in Miami and a location in New York, and I want to register to both of them. I can go in here and add uh, another account, SIP account here. I just hit Add button, and I'll go in here, and I'll put all the same information for my other PBX in here, and that will uh, register my second two two accounts here I can do up to four or eight whatever I want any mixture so I can register to multiple PBXs here's the caveat though your user list here that you import 
only is designed to be imported from your first primary account uh, and be able to actually um, right click do your transfers your, you know, your chat your attended transfer send the voicemail so at this point in time it will only integrate your user list from the primary uh, PBX then you have over here your uh, mute your transfer if you want to manually transfer calls uh, you want to record your calls you can and then it will set up uh, it will actually have there'll be a recordings folder in here to which it will store your recordings you have an auto answer button you have a do not disturb button and you have a forwarding button on the left side you have your uh, mic uh, you have your microphone volume on the right side you have your uh, volume um, and that's the epitome the basics of the epitome communicator so you can see here it didn't take me very long to download this guy and configure them and start making phone calls